Hello, in this problem we have three logarithms and the goal is to write this as a single logarithm whose coefficient is one. So we have minus signs. So the rule we're gonna be using is this one. If you have log of x minus log of y, you get log of x over y. And I didn't put the base because the base doesn't matter. As long as the bases are the same, this is good. So you can use ln to ln is the natural log that would work uh, as well. So as long as you're subtracting and you know there's no numbers in front of the logs, you just divide. So here we have numbers in front of every single log. So what we can do is get rid of the numbers. To do that, remember if you have a number in front of a logarithm, you can just make it the exponent. So this becomes the log of x to the one half minus the same thing here, so it becomes the exponent. Lo I left the negative. You could bring the negative up, by the way, and make it a plus, but that usually makes it worse. <laughs> so I usually just leave the negative alone and bring up the number. And then minus log of z squared. Okay, just again, taking this number and just bringing it up, making them the exponents. Okay, now let's go ahead and apply the quotient rule. Let's apply it to this piece here. Okay, so this will become the log of the top piece. It's just log of the top over log of the, of the bottom, right? Or rather, it's just log of the first divided by the bottom. So log of x over y. So log of this, so 1 half, over this piece here, 1 third. You just divide what's, what's inside the logs. You just divide this one by this one and then just write a single log, okay? It becomes one log minus log of z squared. Okay, so now um, let's go ahead and finish this up. So we're gonna do it again. So it'll be log of this piece divided by this piece. So it'll be log of, so it's the top piece, so x to the one half over y to the one third, and this is in parentheses, and this is divided by z squared, okay? Just like that. So it's just this one divided by this one. And how do you deal with this? Well, whenever you have something like this, you're basically multiplying by the reciprocal. If we have x to the one half over y to the one third, and that's being divided by z squared, like this, what happens is this is really x to the one half over y to the one third times the reciprocal of z squared, so one over z squared. So you just write these under the same fraction. You can write this as x to the one half over y to the one third z squared. And you can take that further. Uh, maybe we should just for fun, just to show you that you can. This is actually the square root of x, right? The one half power is the square root. This one's a cube root of y times z squared. So you could just keep going and we did, why not? A little bit of extra effort is sometimes good. So this is the square root of x over, usually I leave it like this, but for some reason I'm not feeling so lazy on this problem. <laughs> just a moment of mathematical inspiration. And there we are. There is our beautiful final answer. We have a single logarithm and its coefficient is one. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.